What's up guys, today I'm going to show you the ultimate orange themed loadout that you can get in CS2. But before I get into the loadout, let's set some ground rules. Firstly, every item that I mentioned on this list must have some resemblance of orange on the skin. It doesn't have to be a majority orange, orange just has to be present. Second, I'm going to show you my favorite orange skin for every single weapon in the game because I obviously can't predict which weapons you guys would use in your loadouts. And third, rather than being like most loadout videos, this video is actually going to be somewhat of a two-in-one where I'm not only going to show you the best possible orange skin for every weapon in the game, but I'll also be showing you what I think is the best budget option for each weapon. So for example, let's say I was showing you the best green AK-47 skins. The best possible option in the game in my opinion would be the factory new AK-47 Wild Lotus worth over $11,000. But for the budget option, I would probably tell you to go with the souvenir field tested AK-47 green laminate since it's the cheapest version of that skin and still looks amazing. That being said, there is still a cheaper green option in the emerald pinstripe, but I don't think that skin looks good, so I wouldn't include it on my list. I think you get the point. So now that we covered that, sit back and enjoy the best possible cheap and expensive orange loadouts in CS2. Before I get into it, today's sponsor SkinSwap wants to sponsor you with a free case. SkinSwap is a trustworthy skin trading website where you can buy, trade, and even sell your skins for real money. They offer a variety of different payout methods, and they're also always running giveaways, so if you want a free case, a chance at a knife, and a 40% deposit bonus, sign up with my link in the description today. Before we get into the weapon skins, let's start out with the agents. I'm actually going to give you guys three different options for both sides in order of cheapest to most expensive. First up, let's start with the T side. And the first agent on this list is Osiris Elite Crew. When I first made the red loadout video, people complained in the comments that I didn't include agents with the color on the agent. Rather, I was only taking into account the sleeves. And I actually thought that was a good suggestion, so this time around, I made sure to take into account the colors on the agent's body. Osiris is one of very few agents on the T side with orange on him. He has a really nice orange bandana on. And in terms of the sleeves, he's a sleeveless agent with darker skin. He'll only cost you $4.64. Next up is Trapper Guerrilla Warfare. Similar to the last agent, this agent also has an orange bandana on, but also an orange head wrap. This time around, the head wrap and bandana has more of a design on it. And the only difference sleeve-wise between this agent and the last one is that this one's complexion is slightly lighter. You can get this agent for $11.54. Lastly, for the T side, we have Colonel Mango's DBC Guerrilla Warfare. This is the most expensive agent of the three at over $13, but this agent also features features an entirely orange shirt. If you'd prefer an orange shirt to an orange bandana, I'd suggest choosing this one over the first one, but similarly to the first one, this guy has the same sleeves. Next up is the CT side. All right, bear with me on these, there weren't that many great options. First up, we have 2 times McCoy TACP Cavalry. This agent is one of the only ones on the CT side with orange clothing whatsoever. Like before, he also has an orange bandana around his neck, but sadly, his sleeves are camouflage green. So if you care more about the sleeves, leaves than the way he looks to others, this one won't be the option for you. And neither will the second option. The second option is 3rd Commando Company KSK. I chose this one again because he's one of few on the CT side with orange clothing on, again being a bandana. But like before, he has camouflage arms with a bit of red in them this time. So if you're thinking to yourself you'd rather have an agent with nice sleeves than orange clothing on, the third option is probably the one for you. For the third agent on the CT side, I chose Lieutenant Rex Crikey Seal Frogman. Of course, it is the most expensive of the three, but it's the cheapest sleeveless agent on the CT side. So if you're looking for a clean first person look for yourself, I'd suggest choosing him. Now that we covered the agents, we have to have some gloves to match. Again, for the gloves, I'll give you three good options. First up is a pair of field tested sports gloves, Big Game. All right, honestly, there aren't that many orange gloves in the game, but Big Games are some of my favorites. Personally, I'm a fan of skins that have a lot going on rather than simplistic stuff, and these are a great option for that. Another positive about big games is that they're very pattern based so you can get a variety of orange on them. And right now the field tested ones are coming in at just over $200. Next we have a pair of field tested specialist gloves foundation. Alright, I know these are some of the most hated gloves in the game, but they're so clean. Honestly, I think they're some of my favorites. I know the base color of these gloves isn't orange, but the accents are and it looks great. They're super sleek and you can match them with a lot because the base color almost looks white. And for under $300 
$100, they're still an amazing option. Lastly, I went with a pair of factory new specialist gloves, Tiger Strike. And I'm sure these are probably going to be the favorite option of the bunch. Like I said, my goal is to show the best budget option and the highest tier option for each skin. So the factory new pair of these is going to come in at over $2,200, but you could get a pair that look just as good for just under $400. These things are the perfect balance between minimalistic and having a lot going on. And they have a wonderful amount of orange on them, so they're perfect for any orange loadout. That leads us nicely into the pistols. And the first one on the list is the CZ75 Auto. For the budget option, I went with a minimal wear CZ75 Tigris. Alright, there aren't too many orange CZs in the game, but the Tigris is probably my favorite one of them all. And in minimal wear, you can get this thing for less than 75 cents. It's also from a pretty OG case, so there's a lot going for this skin. If you're a CZ user, this might be the one for you. And for the more expensive option, I went with a factory new CZ Nitro. Like I said, I think I prefer the Tigris more, but in factory new, this skin is much more expensive. So if you're looking for the highest tier orange skins possible, this might be the pickup for you. Next up, we have the Desert Eagle. And for the quote unquote budget option, I went with a minimal wear Desert Eagle Ocean Drive. All right, I know this isn't that budget because the Ocean Drive is a pretty expensive skin. And even in minimal wear, it costs $38, but there aren't that many good orange Desert Eagles at all. And if I were to choose a different wear like Field Tested to make this thing cheaper, it just wouldn't look good. So in my opinion, this is the best budget option. But for the higher tier option, we have a Souvenir Factory new Desert Eagle Fennec Fox. This is one of my favorite skins in the entire game, not only for deagles, just at all. This thing looks beautiful, there's amazing decals on it, I love the artwork going on, and it looks so good. Honestly, other than maybe the Desert Hydra, this might be the best orange skin in the game. And the price tag shows, this thing comes in at $380. Next up, we have Dual Berettas. And sadly, there's only one orange option in the game, so I went with the Souvenir Field Tested Dual Berettas Demolition. Okay, unfortunately, Field Tested are the best condition you can get these things in, and the reason I went with Souvenir is because it's actually cheaper than the normal counterpart. Two cents cheaper, actually. But yeah, there's nothing too special about these, it's just an all orange skin, so if you like them, grab them. Next up is the 5.7, and for the budget option, I went with a minimal wear 5.7 Angry Mob. This thing comes in at just under $5, and I love this skin. If you're thinking to yourself, this isn't a majority orange skin, you'd be right, and the reason I chose this skin is because there really aren't that many orange options in the game for five sevens. But that doesn't take away from the fact that the orange secondary color looks amazing on this skin, and it will match quite well with any orange loadout. And similarly to this skin, for the higher tier option, I went with a factory new 5.7 Fall Hazard. This skin has a very similar color scheme to the Angry Mob, but it costs much more money at $190. Next up is the Glock 18, and for the budget option, I went with a minimal wear reactor. This is a very simplistic gun with nuclear logos all over this yellowish green skin. And in minimal wear, it costs just over $6. So for a budget skin, it does look pretty good. And on the very opposite end of the spectrum, for the higher tier option, I went with a Glock 18 Fade. In factory new condition, this thing costs just under $1,500. When you're picking this up for an orange loadout, the best option is to get it in a low fade percentage because it will show more of the yellow and orange. The pattern I'm showing here is number 412, which is the number one mango pattern. Only three of this number one pattern exists, so this thing would cost a lot more more than $1,500, but fade percentages of up to 85% still look great, and those go for market price. Next up is the P2000, and for the budget option, I went with a Scorpion. In factory new condition, this thing only costs $5, and it looks alright. I'm not gonna lie, it's not the best, but there aren't too many great P2000 options. On the other hand, the high tier option is the StatTrak factory new Fire Elemental. This thing comes in at just under $140, and for good reason, because it looks so good and it's so OG. The majority of the skin is blue, but that orange fire symbol going straight through it looks great. Next up is the P250, and for the budget option, we have a great one in the field tested Osimov. At $2.38, you cannot go wrong. If you've played Counter Strike, you know what an Osimov is, and it looks great on the P250. And for the high tier option, I actually went with a Stat Trek Factory new Mendy. This thing comes in at just over $60, and you probably didn't think I was going to pick this. Some would call this red, but I think it looks more orange than red, and I've always been a big fan of this skin. This is what I would pick for my orange loadout. Next up is the R8 Revolver. And for the budget option, I chose a factory new Nitro. Come on, 17 cents for a factory new Nitro? You really can't go wrong. This two-tone skin looks great. It's orange and black and very sleek. And for the higher tier option, I went with a Stat Trek factory new Fade. As far as fades go, this is one of the cheaper ones in the game. And it's actually my personal R8 skin, so I'm a big fan. 
Next up, we have the Tech 9. And for the budget option, I went with a minimal wear orange Murano. Is it just me or is every canal skin sick? This is definitely a lesser known Tech 9 skin, but it looks so good. Unfortunately, in this lighting, it looks a bit dark, but in the sun, it looks great. And for the higher tier option, I went with a Souvenir Factory New Toxic. Okay, the oranges on this are certainly much brighter, so if you're looking for a bright orange skin, this is the one for you. So if you're more of a sleek skin guy, maybe go with the cheaper one, but if you want something that really sticks out, the Toxic is for you. The Toxic is certainly the choice for you. And lastly for the pistols, we have the USPS. And for the budget option, I went with a field tested, the Trader. Okay, come on. Everyone knows the Trader is such a good skin, and it's honestly criminally underpriced. At $10 in field tested with no visible wear, you really can't go wrong. Of course, it is majority red, and the only orange on the skin is that snake showing, but it looks so good. And honestly, USPSs had some great choices, because with the higher tier option, I went with the Stat Trek Factory New Orion. This too is one of my favorite skins in the whole game and it always has been. When I was younger, orange was my absolute favorite color, so the Orion was my baby. I think this was actually my first USPS skin back in 2014, and I wish I kept it because this thing is so beautiful. Next up are the SMGs. In the first MAC-10 is the Minimal Wear Last Dive. This is a very pattern-based skin with a lot of blue and a lot of orange, but you could still find one with a lot of orange for market price. At $1.50 you can't go wrong, and I think this thing looks great. For the high tier option though, we have a factory new copper bore. And it's honestly funny because copper implies that this thing should look more brown, but this thing looks super orange in my opinion. At $103, I don't know if it's going to be worth it for most of you, but it is the best looking high tier MAC-10 that's orange in my opinion. Next up, we have the MP5 SDs. And for the budget option, I went with a minimal wear nitro. Of course, nitros are probably going to be a theme of this video since nitros are the cleanest budget orange skin. And for $5, this thing looks really good. But the high tier tier option is the factory new Oxide Oasis. This is most certainly the highest tier orange MP5 in the game. And I think the biggest reason why this skin has such a high price tag is because of the trade-ups and less of because of the way it looks. But if you are looking for a bright orange skin, this is a good one for you. Next up is the MP7s. And for the budget option, I went with the factory new Urban Hazard. All right, I know the orange on this skin is definitely a secondary color, but for 17 cents, it's definitely the cleanest option. There are a couple other options like the orange peel, but that thing just doesn't look good. And for the higher tier option, we went with the Souvenir Factory New Fade. This is definitely one of the cheapest fade skins in the game. And if you're a fade enjoyer like me, you might as well pick this up for your orange loadout. Next up is the MP9. And for the budget option, I went with a Minimal Wear Rose Iron. Okay, every time I see this skin, I always think to myself, why don't I see this more in game? And it's probably because it's an older skin, but this thing looks so good. That rose with the orange accents on the black background is just so nice. But is it as nice as the higher tier option, the Stat Track Factory new food chain, and you might be thinking to yourself, neither of these MP9 skins are majority orange, which is true, but the oranges pop on both of them. I really can't decide which of these MP9 skins I like more. I've used both of them in the past, and I like them a lot. Which do you prefer? Next up is the P90, and for the budget option, I went with a minimal wear chopper. Again, the chopper, like a lot of the other skins on this list, isn't majority orange, but the orange flame is a focus of the skin. It's super glossy and looks great in the light. And at less than a dollar, it's such a good option. And for the higher tier one, we went with the Stat Track Factory new Osimov. Other than the op, the first Osimov skin in the game that I think of is the P90. And I'm assuming that's true for a lot of others because we can see that in the $150 price tag. Man, the orange on that white background looks so clean. Next up is the PP Bison. And for the budget option, I chose a factory new Osiris. All right, bear with me on the Bisons. There weren't that many good orange options. I'm assuming most of you would consider this yellow, but it is pretty close to orange at the very least. And it's one of very few clean orange bison skins. And if you're upset by the fact that it might be considered yellow, I think the $1 price tag makes up for it. But that leads us nicely into the higher tier option, which is the Stat Track Factory New Judgment of Anubis. Would you consider this yellow? Either way, like I said, there aren't that many good orange options for bisons, so I had to go with this. The orangey yellow is definitely a secondary color, but it does pop, so it would fit with the rest of your orange loadout. The last SMG on this list is the 
UMP45. And for the budget option, we went with a factory new oscillator. Coming in at 30 cents, this is one of the best budget options on the entire list. There isn't anything noteworthy going on on the skin, it's just a random design, but the oranges pop quite well. So for 30 cents, it's a great pickup. And for the higher tier option, again, we have a fade. And the UMP fade in factory new condition comes in at just under $400, which is kind of insane. But yet again, I think the price tag on here is because of trade-ups. Either way, this thing does look good if you have the money. Next up are the shotguns. And for the budget option, I went with the factory new Insomnia. At 20 cents, this thing is a great choice for a budget orange loadout. Okay, I can't be the only one that thinks this guy looks like Morty from Rick and Morty. For the high tier option, I went with a Stat Trek factory new Mag 7 Heat. And wow, oh wow, I did not realize this thing in the best condition is only $8. This blows the Insomnia out of the water, so if you're looking for an orange Mag 7, this is definitely the go-to for you. Next up is the Nova, and weirdly enough, the budget option I went with is the factory new Red Quartz. Okay, why is the Red Quartz clearly orange? This thing does not look red at all, in any lighting, but I will say the color is quite muted all around. So if you're looking for something brighter, I would suggest going with the high tier option, which is the factory new Nova Blaze Orange. And you don't have to necessarily get it in factory new, because this thing is very rare and costs $650, but again, I am showing the best high tier options. The price does drop drastically though if you go down to minimal wear or field tested. Next up is the sawed off, and for the budget option, I went with a factory new origami. This thing's only 20 cents, and it's one of my favorite sawed offs in the game. Like, come on, this thing looks so good. It is perfect for a budget orange loadout. And similarly, so is our high tier option, a Stat Track factory new Kraken. I had no idea this thing was only $35 in Stat Track factory new condition. Yeah, the base color of it isn't orange, but the orange octopus is certainly the focus. The last shotgun is the XM1014, and for the budget option, I went with the Minimal Wear Seasons. Similarly to a lot of the other skins on this list, this one is pattern based. So depending on the pattern you decide to pick up, you could get a lot more or a lot less orange. This one right here is a pretty mediocrely orange one, so you could find one with even more orange. And it's a great choice at $1.50. But for the high tier option, very similarly to the Nova, I went with a fat Factory New Blaze Orange. This one is a bit cheaper in Factory New at $300, but that price tag is still not justifiable. Either way, I had to show you it, but if you're gonna pick this thing up, you might as well go minimal wear. Next up are the LMGs. And firstly, we're going with the M249. For the budget one, I decided to go with a Factory New Spectre. All right, you might be thinking to yourself, this is giving Osiris vibes, and I know, you're right. There aren't that many orange options for M249s at all, so I had to go with this one, but would you even consider this orange? I think it looks a bit more yellow. At 20 cents though, it's gonna have to do. And for the higher tier option, I went with the Factory New Impact Drill. This is certainly the better option of the two. It's only a little bit more expensive, and this color does look a bit more orange. I know it still looks a bit yellowy, but it's our only option. Next is the Negev. And for the budget one, I went with a Factory New Dev Texture. All right, back to majority orange skins. This is very clearly orange, and this thing looks great, especially for less than a dollar. And throwing it back to the Glock, our higher tier option is the Souvenir Factory New Nuclear Waste. This thing is clearly the exact same pattern as the Reactor. Isn't it weird how a lot of the same skins in the game have different names? Even the M249 Impact Drill is essentially just the UMP Caramel. I'm giving away this minimal wear MP5 Phosphor. To enter, like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment something funny, and make sure your Steam trade link is in your YouTube bio so I can send you the skin when you win. Next up, what you've all been waiting for, the rifles. And firstly, we have the AK-47. For the budget option, I went with a Minimal Wear Elite build. Surprisingly, there aren't that many good orange AK-47 options. I could have just chosen something a bit more expensive that was decent, but I decided to go with a really cheap option in the Elite build that still looks super clean. In Minimal Wear, this thing costs less than $2, and that orange secondary color looks so good. But for the higher tier option, you might be surprised, I went with a Stat Track Factory New Aquamarine Revenge. I know I easily could have gone with the more expensive Awesomov here, but the oranges on the dolphins of the Aquamarine Revenge pop so well, and I think they would look great in any orange loadout. Next up is the AUG, and for the budget option, I went with a minimal wear Stimphalion. This certainly toes the line between brown and orange, but it does look great, and for less than $2.50, it's a great choice. For the higher tier option though, I went with the factory new Flame Jormungander. Like, come on, this thing is so clean. Even if there were some other high tier orange AUG options, I would have picked this all day. Next, 
Next is the FAMAS, and for the budget option, I went with the Eye of Athena. Orange is certainly not the primary color of this skin, but like a lot of the other skins on this list, I think the oranges on this pop very well. And I absolutely love this skin. There aren't that many good FAMAS skins in the game whatsoever, and this is one of my favorites for sure. For the higher tier option, I went with the Factory New Meltdown. Like I said, there really aren't that many good FAMAS skins in the game, and you can certainly tell that this one isn't that good either. Well, maybe you like it, but I'm not a huge fan. Also, is this not just the Reactor 2? Next is the Galil, and for the budget option, I went with the Souvenir Minimal Wear Amber Fade. In Souvenir Minimal Wear, this thing comes in at $2.73 right now, and honestly, when you inspect this skin, you're not really seeing that much orange, but when you hold it in idle position, that's where you see the most orange and where it would be the best for this look. Out. But of course, I only chose it because there aren't that many good orange options. That being said, for the higher tier option, I went with a Stat Track Factory New Orange DD Pat. Okay, I don't know what it is about the orange DD Pat specifically, but I really like this skin. For most of the DD Pats, I don't like them at all, but the orange shining through on the rest of the muted colors looks really good in my opinion. Do you guys agree? I mean, sure, for $240, it's definitely not worth it, but it still looks good. Next is the M4A1S. For the budget option, I went with a field tested leaded glass. Okay, how can a skin that looks this good be only $4? And on an M4A1S as well. There's so many great things about this skin. There's a lot of bright colors and it has this awesome 3D effect. One of the first skins in the game to pull it off, mind you. But our higher tier option is even better, with the Stat Track Factory New Player 2. There were a few options I could have gone with, and some of you might be surprised with this choice, but I think the oranges on the base colors of the Player 2 pop so nicely. And the highest tier Stat Track Factory New version only costs $200. Sure, that is quite a bit, but this thing looks so great. Next up is the M4A4, and for the budget option, I went with a minimal wear cybersecurity. Alright, I had a really hard time choosing a budget option for the M4A4, and honestly, I'm not even satisfied with my final choice. Would you even consider this color orange? Again, like a lot of the other skins on this list, it toes the line between orange and yellow, but this is a decent skin, so I'm not going to complain. If I'm being honest though, I don't think I'd pay $25 for it. But for our higher tier option on the other hand, I went with the Stat Track Field Tested M4A4 Awesomov. Do I really even have to say much about this one? Everyone knows the Awesomov's good, and it looks great on the M4A4 too. At $400, dollars though? I don't know if I could stomach that. Next up is the SG553, and for the budget option for this guy, I went with a minimal wear tiger moth. Okay, did you even know that this skin was so shiny? Is that a recent change? Eh, either way, this thing looks really good, and for under a dollar, it's a great choice. And for the higher tier option, I went with the Stat Trek Factory New Colony 4. Honestly, the design on this skin is kind of off-putting to me, but it was one of the only SGs that looked orange at all, so we had to go with it. Truly though, what do you think of this skin? Let me know in the comments, please. I rarely see this thing. Next up, we have the Snipers. And first on the list, we have the Op. And for the budget option, I went with a field-tested Wildfire. I don't even know if you could consider this budget at this point. The field tested wildfire still costs $50. And I know this thing isn't majority orange, but that orange phoenix in the middle is certainly the focus. So this would definitely fit into an orange loadout. And for the higher tier option, there were a lot of great choices, but of course I had to go with the souvenir factory new desert hydra. I really wanted to pick the dragon lore on this, but I just couldn't do it in good faith. The desert hydra is clearly the better orange option. This thing is so beautiful everything about it from the design to the colors it's just great and we can certainly tell that by the price of three thousand dollars next up we have the ssg 08 and for the budget option i went with a field tested slashed this is a super og skin and one that i used to use a lot and it's honestly surprising that it's made its way up all the way to two dollars but still, $2 is quite cheap, and this thing looks really good. It's just simply black with orange strikes through it. For the higher tier option, I went with the Stat Trek Factory New Dragonfire. This is certainly in my top two favorite SGs in the game. The other one being the Death Strike. And I almost even went for the Death Strike for this list, but I'd consider that more yellow than orange. Either way, the Dragonfire is such a good alternative. The colors on this thing are super vibrant. I think it looks great. Next is the G3 SG1. And for the budget option, I went with a Factory New Orange orange crash. Again, there weren't that many great orange options for this gun, but the orange crash will suffice. And for 18 cents, you're not really risking much. 
For the higher tier option, I went with a factory new orange kimono. This on the other hand looks very good and it's certainly the best orange G3 in the game. The last sniper on the list is the Scar 20. And for the budget option, I went with a factory new enforcer. All right, it was very slim pickings for orange skins for the Scar 20. You can barely see the oranges on this enforcer, but when you inspect it, it looks decent. And that range true for the higher tier option as well. I went with the Stat Track factory new Cardiac. You definitely can see the orange here. It's a lot brighter and there's a lot more of it, but it's not that good of a skin. And you can tell because the highest tier version of it costs $44. All right, finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, the knives. And like the agents in gloves, I'll give three options for these. For the super budget option, I went with a pair of factory new Shadow Daggers Tiger Tooth. All right, this was an obvious choice. I just went with a super cheap knife with an orange finish. But the cool thing about the Shadow Daggers is the handle is the exact same color as the rest of the blade, so it looks quite good. Next, I went with a factory new Huntsman Knife Tiger Tooth. This thing comes in at just about double the price of the Shadow Daggers, and for good reason. It's a much better looking knife, and the black handle fits quite well with these gloves too. And last but not least, I went with a factory new Butterfly Knife Mango Fade. The Butterfly Knife is one of the only knives in the game with a small enough blade for the low percentage fades to show mostly orange, and that's why it's called a Mango Fade. The market price right now for these things is around $3,000. $2,200, but if you got the best number one pattern mango fade, it would certainly cost you a lot more than that. But I wouldn't recommend doing that though, because you could get a very similar fade percentage for market price. All right, that's it boys. The total price for the entire budget loadout was $547.64. That's honestly a lot cheaper than I thought it was going to be. And that'd be a pretty good loadout in my opinion. On the other hand, the expensive loadout total was $14,389.60. Cents. Definitely a lot more. And that would increase exponentially if you were to choose number one patterns for the fades. What'd you think guys? Which loadout was better? The budget or the high tier? Let me know in the comments. And also let me know which color you'd like to see next. I'm probably going to go in order of the rainbow for now, but what weird colors would you like to see? Like camouflage, pink, what else? Lastly, if you want to join our discord for more weekly skin giveaways, the link to that will be in the description below. I'll catch you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet. So go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below.